Welcome back to Jersey Matters. There's a whole lot more than just gambling in Atlantic City. As a matter of fact, the city wants you to come for concerts and for the restaurants. Our Kimberly Kravitz fills you in on what you can expect this summer. While gambling may be the heart of the town, the pulse of Atlantic City is its entertainment. And that's why Atlantic City will be a must-stop location this summer at the Jersey Shore. Gaming has always been the driving motivator for people that were visiting Atlantic City. That was 20 years ago, you know, 25 years ago. That's just simply not true anymore. Gaming is and still will be always a very important product of our, of our destination and the landscape of Atlantic City. But it isn't necessarily the driving motivator anymore for someone to visit. Entertainment, shopping, dining has taken a really over for the gaming. Gaming is an important, I think the best way to say it is gaming is now an amenity. We have something going on here every single night. Musical artists, both old and new, Broadway, comedians, and family-friendly fun. There is something for everyone in Atlantic City. So directly right behind me, you see the playground pier, which is right behind me, as well as our miniature golf course and our beautiful free beaches of Atlantic City. There's nowhere that has gaming on the beach and the boardwalk and the ocean. I mean, we are still the only destination that does that. Along the miles and miles of gorgeous, not to mention free beaches, there are waterfront restaurants and bars available 365 days a year. There's definitely something to do 365 here in Atlantic City, but the summer, it's definitely a shore town. A lot more guests come in the summertime. We definitely have outdoor amenities that are open seasonally that do have live entertainment. Right now, Atlantic City's beach concerts are the talk of the town. They have some of the hottest musical acts that are a huge drive to the city's economy. We're excited about our beach concerts this year. We have Sam Hunt coming in on July 1st. He's one of the hottest country acts today. Uh, Demi Lovato is bringing her tour here. She's never been to Atlantic City before, so she'll be here on July 26th. And of course, everyone's talking about the chain smokers coming in on July 29th. There's a competition is always a factor, and that's what makes Atlantic City succeed is knowing that there's other competition. There's New York City, you're bordered by Philadelphia. Why should people come here to Atlantic City? It's just unique. It has a lot of history. It's really a great town, and I think now more than ever, Atlantic City is going through a rebirth. I think any new amenities in the city will benefit all of the properties. You figure, you know, there's only so many restaurants in the competitors' buildings, so people are going to venture out before their shows, check out other properties, check out other restaurants, check out other bands before their, their concert happens. So, I mean, I welcome any new um, development in Atlantic City. And new development in Atlantic City means new nightclubs and attractions. We have some of the best nightclubs, and soon we'll be opening a couple brand new nightclubs. So the diverse entertainment that we're bringing in from reggae to hip hop to um, retro to Rat Pack. Um, so it's just a great great thing. And we're also bringing back Broadway on the boardwalk this year. So on Monday nights, beginning July 9th, we'll be bringing some of the hottest Broadway shows down. Last but not least, another year-long fan favorite in Atlantic City. I love happy hour. We have probably some of the best happy hours. I mean, we have a beach bar with a swimming pool on the beach. Who has that? You know, we do. Whether you're traveling here for vacation, a sporting event, or on the job, you can find a full calendar of events if you log on to AtlanticCityNJ.com. For Jersey Matters, I'm Kimberly Kravitz. Stay tuned for our community calendar for events in New Jersey. Most of us like to be out in the sun. That's why sunscreen and other safety measures are key to protecting your skin from aging and cancer. The FDA recommends using a sunscreen with an SPF of 15 or higher. Also, look for broad spectrum on the label. That means both harmful ultraviolet A and B rays are blocked. 
Remember, SPF plus broad spectrum equal healthy fun in the sun. Visit www.fda.gov sunscreen for more information. A message from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration.